and welcome to Nerd Sanctum. Today in tech news, Amazon has reported that it plans on using drones to provide a 30 minute delivery. Now, this may seem a little bit unrealistic, so let me explain you know, what's the truth and what exactly is and isn't possible. First, let's start off with what exactly these drones can carry. Now, these octocopters are pretty small, so obviously they can't carry things that are extremely heavy. But Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos has reported that the current drone model can carry up to a maximum of 5 pounds. But this isn't really a major concern because about 86% of all Amazon packages are less than 5 pounds. Now on to coverage. What parts of the world in the United States does Amazon actually plan to deliver to with these drones? Mr. Bezos has reported that the current model of these drones has a flight radius of about 10 miles, which means that every Amazon fulfillment center has the potential to deliver up to a 314 square mile area. This is a massive problem because Amazon only has 14 fulfillment centers in America and 49 worldwide, which means Amazon only has the ability to deliver to a maximum of a 4,400 square mile area, which is only about a tenth of America's total land mass. Now moving away from these technical limitations, let's look at some other things that make these drones an unlikely possibility. First off is securing people's purchases. I am sure there are plenty of thieves out there who have already thought about shooting these drones out of the air to steal some person's package. Now even if that doesn't happen, another major threat are birds. Some bird species are extremely territorial, meaning that if these drones were to fly through their area or their home, they would attack them. There's been a long history of people reporting birds attacking their RC helicopters and model planes, so if birds are willing to attack those things, why wouldn't they attack these drones? Now even if we ignore all these limitations, Amazon themselves have reported that they need FAA permission to launch these drones, and they believe they will actually get this permission by 2015 at the earliest. Some people are skeptical because they think that these drones need a way to visually see their environment to make sure that they don't crash into anyone or anything. If Amazon was allowed to do this, there could be huge security concerns because this gives them the ability to collect and potentially sell the data of where people are and where they're going. Now, potentially a loophole around this security concern would be simply using radar instead of cameras. So after reviewing all these limitations, I believe we can all safely say that this drone project probably won't get off the ground, or at least on any type of large scale, and that it was probably just a media gimmick to drive up Amazon sales for Cyber Monday and Christmas gifts. But no need to worry because Google is offering a much more realistic same-day shipping project. Google plans on using their automated smart cars to make same-day deliveries. Now, this project is currently being tested in the Bay Area of California and is showing promising results. So although we may never see an Amazon drone actually in the air, you may be able to get same-day delivery by a Google smart car sooner than you'd expect. Anyways, I hope you found this information about Amazon's drone useful. If you'd like to see Amazon's promotional ad or a 60 Minutes interview with Amazon CEO, feel free to click and check those out. If you have any more questions about Amazon's drone or would like me to make a video discussing more about Google smart car, please leave a comment below. And also, if you've liked this video, please leave a thumbs up and potentially think about subscribing I would really appreciate it. But anyways, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, have a good day.